introduction, sucker. Um, it's been a busy week in Dubai, so you're going to have to forgive my hoarse voice. Uh, the video you just saw is um, the launch video from just over two years ago for the Internet Computer Network. And uh, you might know the network by its other name, ICP, which um, comes from the protocol that, that, that creates it. Um, the, the Internet Computer is a, a big idea. Um, it's an evolution of the original world computer concept um, from sort of 2014, 2015. Um, the Project Affinity started out in 2015. The original aim was to um, create something like an Ethereum 2 or an Ethereum 3. Um, but it became apparent that this thing would have to be its own project. It was going to take years. And, and actually, we were in R&D for uh, almost six years before the, the, the launch of mainnet. The big idea of the internet computer is that a blockchain, super advanced blockchain, re-architected, uh, running on uh, new math, can provide a kind of serverless cloud functionality um, where you can build almost anything and pretty much everything using um, smart contract software that's unstoppable and tamper-proof, and of course, can be made autonomous, so you can uh, allow, have it run independently or under the control of a, of a DAO. And today, people are building uh, you know, a wide range of games, metaverse services, social fight services, that run fully on chain, um, without uh, any need for traditional IT. That's a big deal, because um, you know these kinds of things involve lots of data and lots of computation. And you know, we're, we're all very familiar with the idea of tokenization and Web3 giving users ownership of things, um, ownership of value through tokens, or ownership of digital assets through NFTs. The internet computer kind of pushes blockchain further forward, um, taking us from sort of the Web3 we know towards a kind of new Web 3.0 paradigm where you have full stack decentralization and things run entirely on the blockchain. So today, um, you have services that you know, host many thousands of users that are built entirely on the blockchain with smart contracts, which scale, process web, and of course support things like tokenization which enables those services to be run under the direct and exclusive control of advanced DAOs. DAOs, of course, are decentralized autonomous organizations. And this begins to invert the traditional tech model where you, you know, services, online services, are owned by companies and run by CEOs and, and, and so on. And in, in this, New world, these services are running without any back doors. There's no uh, Amazon Web Services account where the developers go to um, uh, and where they have control over the user data and the computation and so on. These things are fully on chain, they run under the control of DAOs, and the communities that operate those DAOs now have uh, full ownership of control of these games, metaverses, and social fi services in the same way that individual users today own um, you know, digital assets through the blockchains and, 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 and things like NFTs. So this is a really big advance. And you know, one of the purposes of the internet computer is to provide a public network that is a complete alternative to the traditional IT stack, where you can build using advanced smart contract technology without need for servers, cloud instances, databases, web servers, all the, or any of the components of traditional IT. And we're also pushing into new areas where enterprise is beginning to build all kinds of interesting things um, on, on the network itself. So um, last thing I want to say is this is a, part of a very broad and important trend, um, which is beginning to unbundle Silicon Valley. 
Now, uh, I currently live in Zurich. I've been there the last uh, two and a half or so years. And before that, I was in Silicon Valley for 10 years. And I'm seeing real change. Like, there was a time when you couldn't really create anything meaningful in tech outside of Silicon Valley. You had to be there. You had to be there for the capital, um, the skilled people, the network effects. And what's happened in the last few years is fantastic. Um, and amazing. For the first time, we're seeing meaningful tech ventures springing up all over the, the world. And this is a huge opportunity for regions um, to seize a part of the tech pie as the tech economy democratizes and build, build out tech locally. So we in the uh, internet com computer community are doing this through ICP hubs which are proliferating all over the world. Um, one of our most important and best run is here in Dubai, um, which reflects the importance, I think, of Dubai's... Say that again, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! yeah, so one of, our, one of our most important ICP hubs, and they're proliferating everywhere, and probably genuinely uh, the best run is here in Dubai. And, and that reflects Dubai's... Um, increasing importance in this ecosystem and its position as an international nexus. Um, and the reason my voice is hoarse just simply reflects the number of incredible people here in Dubai that I've been speaking to Amazing. and the unfolding opportunities. Um, so uh, with that, yeah, I just want to say thanks to Crypto Oasis, Thank an amazing you. organization for putting this on. And um, Thank you. thanks to Dubai for being such a great crypto hub and making all this possible. It's amazing people like you that make it great. Give them a big round of applause, everyone. Mm -hmm.